Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So apparently there's a video going around talking about the fact that you will have to pay back your stimulus check that you receive, or if you receive one, due to this coronavirus pandemic. And the fact is that that is a false statement. There you have it. This is the shortest video I've ever made. But on a serious note, I just really want to make a quick video to talk about why this is actually false. And it's actually very simple. We're gonna just talk about the definition of an advance and the definition of a tax credit, as well as give you two examples just to show you how the math works and why you actually won't owe anything more than you normally would based on how much taxes you paid and how much taxes you actually owed to the IRS. And so the only truthful thing that was stated in this video, and just like with any conspiracy theory or anyone that's trying to confuse you, there has to be a sprinkling of truth in what they're saying in order for this to spread and in order for people to think that this is actually a true statement. So in the video, they mentioned that this is an advance on a tax credit that you're gonna receive on your 2020 taxes. And that is true. It is an advance on your tax credit. However, let's first understand what an advance is. And I'll give two examples. Payday loans are companies that give you an advance on your paycheck and they charge you interest for allowing you to borrow that amount of money. So when you get paid, most people, if you get paid salary, you know exactly what you're gonna get paid on your next paycheck. If you work hourly, as long as you work the same amount of hours, then you know what you're gonna get paid as well. And so based on that amount, you can then go to your payday loan or go to some business that will allow you to borrow money and say, hey, this is what I'm gonna get paid on X date. I need the money right now, so please provide me with an advance on my paycheck so that I can pay a bill or you know whatever the emergency may be that would cost someone to go to a payday loan. I wouldn't recommend going to a payday loan company. But if you needed to, that payday loan or that business would say, okay, we'll give you X amount of dollars and we're gonna charge you X amount of interest, but you have to pay back this loan within this certain time period. And there may be additional fees and things like that, but don't really worry about those details. And so you're getting an advance, you're receiving money earlier than you would have received it based on your actual paycheck from your employer. And so that's one example of an advance. Another example is what typically people hear in the music industry. If you were to sign with a record label, you hear about these big paychecks that people have made. It's like, oh, this artist signed for a million dollars with this record label. What they did was they received an advance on what the record label believes that that person should be able to make with their help if they were to promote their music and do whatever they do behind the scenes to actually sell an individual song or one album or multiple albums. And so you receive that $1 million check in advance of actually selling an album, selling a single for that record company. And so once the record company, once they actually receive the money from the sales of your albums or the sale of products related to your songs, then they will take that $1 million back and they may give you a percentage throughout that time, depending on how long it takes to get there or recoup their $1 million. Or you may not get anything at all until you've quote unquote paid back that $1 million. But you're not paying it back because they're receiving the money first and they won't give you anything until they've actually received all of their money back. Plus maybe there's a split based on what's actually in their contract. And so that's two examples of an advance. Next, we're gonna talk about what a tax credit is. And so essentially what a tax credit is, is a dollar for dollar credit of any taxes that you owe that the IRS is gonna give you credit for. And there are two types of tax credits. There are refundable tax credits, and then there are non-refundable tax credit. And for people that receive refunds, you know what that is. When you receive a refund, the definition of a refund is that you're getting something back that you're owed. And so when you get a refund from the IRS, essentially what it's saying is that you paid more in taxes than what you actually owed. And because of that, the IRS now has to refund you what you overpaid. And so with a tax credit, let's say you owed $1,000 in taxes and the government gives you a $2,000 refundable tax credit. Because you only owed $1,000, that $1,000 is wiped clean and that's subtracted from that $2,000 of refundable tax credit. And so you have $1,000 left 
that is refundable to you. Now, if it was a non-refundable tax credit and you owed $1,000, that $1,000 is still wiped clean because your non-refundable tax credit is $2,000, but you wouldn't receive that extra $1,000 because that tax credit is non-refundable, meaning they will not refund you the difference in how much you actually owed and how much your credit is. And with the coronavirus stimulus checks, these are refundable tax credits. And so that is why I believe the maker of that viral video that went through on TikTok and then was shared on YouTube and Instagram and many other news outlets and social media outlets. This is why it went viral because it did have a sprinkling of truth saying that, yes, this is a tax credit and it is an advance on a tax credit that you're going to receive on your 2020 taxes, meaning once you actually submit your taxes in 2021. However, the statement that you're going to have to quote unquote pay it back, you're going to owe money next year, that is patently false. And so I'm going to give two examples of someone that would have owed taxes and someone that was going to receive a refund anyway, and they're going to receive this stimulus check. So in example one, you have a person that paid $10,000 in taxes, but they only technically owed $8,000 in taxes. So that difference between $10,000 and $8,000 is $2,000 that's overpaid, which is now due to you as a refund. But in addition to that, that's what you normally get every year, no matter what, you have a specific salary, and every year you get that $2,000 refund. But this year, because there's an additional tax credit that's gonna be added to your taxes because you meet the certain criteria to receive that tax credit and also receive the stimulus check, you're gonna have an additional, let's say $2,000 tax credit that is refundable. And so because you have this additional $2,000 tax credit that is refundable that you normally wouldn't have, so now instead of having a $2,000 refund because you overpaid $2,000, you now have a $4,000 refund. But wait, you already received the $2,000 via the stimulus check in April or May of 2020. So that means you're not gonna receive $4,000 when you actually submit your taxes in 2021 for your 2020 taxes. You're still only gonna receive the $2,000 that you were eligible to receive because you overpaid by $2,000. And so essentially nothing changes in your taxes for 2020. And so that's example one. Nothing has changed for a person that normally receives a refund. They're still gonna receive a refund and it's gonna be based on how much they paid in taxes and how much they actually owed in taxes. And so in example two, I'm just gonna flip it. This is a person that they typically owe taxes and they paid $10,000 in taxes, but they actually owed $12,000 worth of taxes. So that means that this person has a $2,000 tax bill. And every year they have a $2,000 tax bill or something close to that. But this year, you're gonna receive a $2,000 tax credit due to the coronavirus pandemic. And so now, because you're getting that tax credit, and typically you owe $2,000, but you're getting a $2,000 tax credit, now your tax bill is zero. But wait, you already received $2,000 as a stimulus check in April or in May of 2020. So that means that tax credit, you've already received the actual money for that. So it's not gonna make any changes to your taxes once you submit them in 2021. And so that $2,000 that you owed, you're still gonna owe $2,000. It's not gonna matter that now your tax credit is actually counting and it's actually being documented on your actual tax return because you've already received that physical credit by receiving the stimulus check in April or May of 2020. And so again, even as the person that typically owed taxes, your tax situation has not changed because you're receiving that credit, but you've actually already received the paycheck by receiving that coronavirus stimulus check. And so now where I think there will probably still be confusion because if you still believe that person on TikTok that created the video saying that you're gonna have to pay it back in 2021, now the only way this would happen is, is if there was some kind of change, whether on your W-4 or the fact that maybe you made more money in 2020 than you typically do, and then now you see that you owe taxes or you get a smaller refund. But the only thing that matters is how much you paid in taxes, how much you actually owed in taxes. And then the differences between those two is the actual fact of how much you will pay in taxes. And so this tax credit, this refundable tax credit, it is essentially zero. 
you already received a check in April or May of 2020. And so when you submit your taxes in 2021, that credit will be documented by the IRS, but you've already received the money, so you're not gonna have to pay anything back. It is zero, it is zero. So I hope this was helpful in debunking that video and this incorrect information that's going around about the fact that you would have to pay back your stimulus check. You've already received the money, they're just gonna count the credit in 2021 when you submit your 2020 taxes and there's going to be zero change in how much you owe or how much your refund will be once you actually submit your taxes now the only people that there may actually be a difference in your taxes is is if you didn't qualify for a stimulus check and you didn't receive a stimulus check then once you actually submit your 2020 taxes because you're still going to get that tax credit if you are now eligible because you're working less hours and you made less money than you did in 2018 and 2019. And so in your actual 2020 taxes, now you're actually eligible based on your income. Then yes, you, because your tax situation changed and you didn't receive the stimulus check, now that tax credit is actually gonna count towards your taxes. And because you didn't receive a check, now you're actually gonna receive that credit and you're gonna see a difference on your taxes versus a person that actually received the check. They're not gonna see any difference once they actually submit their taxes in 2021. And so I hope this was helpful in debunking the fake news viral video that went viral on TikTok and then spread out to other social media and news outlets. If you have any questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments. But just like with anything tax related, you should still speak to a tax professional. Although I believe this was a good explanation and a good breakdown, when you actually submit your taxes, if you normally use a tax professional, speak to that person. If you normally do taxes yourself, then you probably already know this and this was just preaching to the choir. But if there is still any confusion or you don't trust me and you rather trust the guy on TikTok because I'm just a guy on YouTube when you think about it, but the guy on TikTok didn't break down how you actually would pay back that check and I just broke down why you wouldn't have to pay back that check. So. Thanks for watching. If you're not a part of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below to join, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.